When I was in U.S. Berkeley, uh, I was a betting scholar. So uh, I just want to introduce Chinese painting to American uh, people, to the American art circle. So the first I had a chance to have a workshop in uh, San Francisco Art Institute. So the workshop was very successful. So the people, a lot of people want to uh, attend this uh, workshop. So we separate uh, two times because one time too many people. Uh, workshop, I was thinking, uh, a lot of American people and American artists are very interested in Chinese painting. So I can introduce Chinese culture and Chinese painting to American people and art society. So uh, I had a friend so he introduced me to uh, Connecticut. So the first I had a workshop in uh, Connecticut. Uh, later, uh, the Connecticut College, so they have a Chinese department. This Chinese department is the first department in America. So they uh, teach students Chinese art, uh, Chinese culture. Uh, everything about Chinese. So I uh, gave the speech to uh, Connecticut College. Of course, I uh, spoke Chinese. They hired a, translate, a translator. So later, I got a chance to uh, have a lecture uh, and demonstration in Yale University and the Yale uh, Art Museum. So, in Yale uh, Art Gallery, I first saw a very rare Chinese painting, original, original Chinese painting there. So I, I thought, oh, uh, American people uh, really like uh, Chinese art and they collect a lot of Chinese art in their museums and their galleries. So I was very happy to uh, do this. And, uh, later I uh, had another, another uh, lecture in Asian Art Museum in San Francisco. Uh, that lectures I introduced uh, Taiwan's uh, National Gallery's painting. So lots of art teachers from Bay Area. So they went to uh, Asian Art Museum. So I uh, gave them a lecture. So they were very happy, and very excited. So the museum and uh, they asked me, oh, please uh, come over later. So we had a very good relationship with the museum.